Come on. Come on. Nico, what are you doing? Dave is not coming. Ah, ignore him. Come on, we got to get this thing ready before we dock. Let's go. Here, pass me that. You ever been? No. Crazy place, Nico. <laughs> what you going to do? I might come back on board, or I might try to make a go of it. Like they say, it is the land of opportunity. I always wanted to make it big, on a nice place, get a dog, a house, live the dream. Like my cousin. Oh yeah? Yes, he's got the love. Cows, women, cars, parties. Uh, he writes me in these wild emails, and after got into trouble, I thought maybe. Uh, then I got this gig, and I spent the next seven months with you fine people, and I forget. <laughs> After the war finished, I couldn't get a job. Nobody could. Uh, so I uh, did some dumb things, got involved with some idiots. Ah, we all do dumb things. That's what makes us human. Could be. <laughs> what? Good to see you, man. What? You forget our language? Uh, Kapusi? Maybe a little. I've been here ten years. You can speak English. Remember, we learned off the English girls with the big... Uh, a little. <laughs> I'm not uh, so good. You'll be fine. Better than my Serbian. Ah! So good to see you, cousin. <laughs> I can't believe you made it. <laughs> Shit. I have to tell you. I had quite a night last night. Two women. The land of opportunity. Ah, I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit, man, I'm still a touch drunk. A touch? <laughs> <laughs> My cousin is here! Oh, Rome, got to Rome, Rome. come on, come on, right, Alex. Man, whatever, buddy. Just take over the world someplace else, yeah, all right? Buddy. You're in the take goddamn off. world. Screw you! Screw you <laughs> all! On, My man. cousin is here! Nico Bellic! He's the fucking man, bitches! Roman, come on, let's go. Uh, to the mansion, huh? Yes, the mansion! <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should drive. Oh, maybe I should. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, is this a cab? Where's the sports car? Uh, it's in the shop. Come on! <laughs> Drive us to that place on Mohawk. He's just up the road. I'll let you know when we're there. Why don't you show me around the city? Fucking terrorists! What? Terrorists! There's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. You without the visa, I would stay in broker. Fucking stay in Hove Beach. Everyone like us does. Nico, you ever had two women at once? Or big titties to be playing with? 
Mislil sam da će umreti i otići u raj, čoveče! Ne mogu da kažem, da imam. Kacen, it's been too long. You should have come out earlier. Think of all the girls you've been missing out on. Our country has women too. Yes, but only locals. Here we have white, black, the Puerto Ricans and the Asians, Europeans on vacation, scared Canadians, bored housewives from the Midwest. Every possible choice. The city is like a big Udder Milk and Ice Cream Shop. 36 flavors of titty. Half Beach is a little corner of Eastern Europe. Kakashamantno. Half Beach, next to the ducks. That is my camp depot, cousin. It is where I make all the money. Immigrants here do not make it very far from the boats they come in on. No, everyone seems happy where they are. It reminds them of the Black Sea or something. People leave home to hang around the people they ran away from. Well, Ochundo, it's just temporary for us, though. Our sights are set for the top mansions in Bacham. Pantas in Algonquin, a model on each arm. Me and my cousin Nico, rulers of the world. Put this dog in your mouth. This is the mansion? <laughs> Just a temporary place. The mansion is coming, cousin. That's the dream. Follow me. <laughs> come in, come in! Make yourself at home. What's mine is yours. Uh, got him! <laughs> Little bastard, if he paid some rent, I wouldn't care. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, cousin, it's so good to see you. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. <sighs> so. 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 So, you full of crap or what? What? Uh, where's luxury condo? Where's sports car? Where's Barbara with big titties and Stephanie who sucks like a vacuum? What are you talking about? In your letters to my mother. In your letters to me. All I hear about is Mr. Big, Mr. Roman, living the American dream. Sports cars, condos, women, money, the beach. Opportunity. I come here and the only thing big about your life is the cockroaches. <laughs> That's right. I got the best cockroaches, I got the best pets. <laughs> Screw you, you idiot. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot, but you must admit, I have the best line in bullshit you ever heard. Yeah, this I know, asshole. Well, here. <sighs> All I needed was one good guy. One good guy I could do well. Not take over the world, but do okay. Now maybe I have this. But what about you? What about you, cousin? What? What about me? Uh, why you live home after all this time? First I hear you are running with the wrong kind. Then I hear you join the Merchant Navy. Now you're here. You never tell me anything. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? No, I never tell you anything. Another time. Mystery man, strange and exotic sailor. What happened? Did your captain make you pregnant? <laughs> Screw you! No, no, it's nothing like that. The ships were fine. It was before that. Two things. You remember, during the war, we did some bad things. And bad things happened to us. <laughs> war is where the young and stupid are tricked by the old and bitter into killing each other. I was very young and very angry. Maybe that is no excuse. Roman? Roman! Ah! Are you sleeping, you fat no, fuck? No Come on! What's the time? Shit, I've got to get the cab back. It's on the shift. Ah! Oh, Jesus, this is like a rat shot in it. Nico, Jeez. 
I've got to run. Uh, come well, meet me at the cab office. It's easy. Out about? the door, turn left, and the first I left did... at the diner, go down I'm one block and turn right on Iroquois. Then walk all the way down, and we're right there on the left on the corner of Cisco about, Street. Man. It's really flash. We got lots of titties and some incredible motors. Uh, Nico, give me a hug. Good to have you here, cousin. I've got something for you. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, yes, Vlad. Uh, sorry. No, forgive me, okay? No, no, please don't cut my cock off. Uh, okay, okay but. Yes? No. Uh, okay. Come on, big guy. I'll do some work or get out of here. We don't need jokers. Screw you! Screw you! Baby, when I look into your eyes, it means something. I see little Romans. I see little Mallories. I see stars. I see angels. In my homeland, we have a saying. Yeah, we got one too. You're a fag! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Roman, you fucking idiota! How can I take you seriously? Very difficult, I think. <laughs> Hello, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <Miss. laughs> Mallory, this is my cousin I tell you about, Nico. Hi. Nico, this is Mallory, the beautiful girl I tell you about. See? Not everything I tell you is bullshit. I bet most of it was. Hey. I hope you're less full of shit than your cousin over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the woman that I'm going to marry. <laughs> Whatever you say. I thought you were going to marry me, <laughs> baby. Hey, Vlad. <laughs> Crazy. You're fucking crazy, man. <laughs> you should lose a few pounds. Otherwise, this beautiful lady is going to lose. Uh, no, uh, I'm a fat prick. What did I do? Uh, pay your uh, debts? I will, I will do, man. We spoke of this. No, we didn't speak. You spoke. Then you say your phone out of batteries. You treat me like a bitch. Never. I treat you like an idiot, not a bitch, huh? <laughs> I guess it's true. The beautiful woman do like the guys with a funny sense of humor. Ho ho! I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll get you the money. I know. And Roman, tell this fucking yokel here if he doesn't stop staring at me, I'll have his head chopped off and put a film of it on the internet! Ouch. Ah. Oh good. Great. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Like, say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. Yes, he's all charm. Come on, Nico, let's go. Uh, darling, I, I, I'll see you later. I've got to take my cousin around some more. Get him settled. Nico, you're driving us to a hardware store on Dillon Street. Doing some home improvements, Roman. You going to build this mansion you tell me about? <laughs> oh, funny guy. We're going to get money. In America, you need money to do anything. You're taking me to a backroom game where I'll win all the dollars we need to really see this town. Nightclubs, women, titties! You can play, right? DC Dober, Uovo Igri? I am the best. I kick all the asses that play me. They call me the janitor. Because you can't pay your debts and they make you mop the floor? Never or what, no. Funny. No, I'm the janitor because I always clean up. I always win. Get it? Chistach, Naravno. I seriously hope your cards are better than your nicknames. Only problem is I'm playing with some money I meant to give to these Albanian scumbags. Here's hoping they don't show up, eh? <laughs> We got loan sharks after us. Roman, Stasse de Shava. After me. And it doesn't matter anyway. When I've played this game, I'll have enough money to pay them back ten times. Only so slabichu or svakum slotchiu. Wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. Shit, uh, I almost forgot. I'm giving you my old phone. My new number's in there. Call me if some Albanian show up in some shitty beige willard. Those are the guys I owe money to. Do, do not hurt them. I know what you're like, Nico Bellic. You and your debts, Roman. Uve kisto, Nika drugacie. It's so quiet out here, Roman. You winning? Molinte Red Sida. 
Don't worry, I'm getting so many bullets, it's like I'm an AK. Miss McCool. Roman, it looks like your money lending friends are here. I think that Balak is in the store. We'll get our money. Cousin, two guys are going in the store. I think they are the loan sharks you speak of. Shit, I'm down. You better get out of there. All right, all right, I'm coming. Shit, Nico, it's them. They must have been told I was here. We'll get our money, Balik! Remember, do not hurt the loan sharks. The debt will just decrease. Get us back to the depot, quick! I'll lose them. Sadanie taco teško. Just like the old days, eh? In the old days, we were dodging bombs, not lawn sharks. Just drive. Leave the funny comments to me. I mean, you're a distinctive man, Roman. That is why the ladies love me. Fuck those Shylocks, they'll get their money. They just have to wait. We should stand up to them. Gideti e ponos. Nico, you're new. You don't understand the way things work. Oh, yeah? We are at the bottom of the ladder, man. These dogs push us around, but they are not to be feared. It is the Russian mobsters, Vlad bosses that run everything. Be careful of them. You tell me to behave, Mr. Janitor? If you understand it all, where is the money? I lost it this time, but when I go back, the last thing they will expect is for me to take everything. Then I really will clean up. Povera Vatshu, God vidim, Roman. You're gonna get around We're here. Oh, you like your phone? Maybe one day you'll get a premium quality one like mine. Then you will have really made it. I can only wish. See you later, cousin. Come on, Daddy, what's your problem? I don't have problem. You do. Don't be a dick, man, come on! Where's your Russian friend now, huh? Eh? It's not my friend, it's eh? my lord, sir! Eh? Stop this! Eh? What are you? Who are you? Get out of here. <laughs> what? Yes! Huh? Ah! 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 My arm! Oh! What about you? Help me! Help me! Come on, Zupa! Help me! Get out of here now! And if you come back, I'll kill you! You understand? You forgot this? You have many bricks? Stop! Shit, Rico. What did you do? He was going to stab me! Now he's going to kill you! Fuck him! Look at this mess! Screwed! Again! You want to know why I'm not <sighs> living in a nice condo, banging for women? It's because of shit like this. Assholes, threaten Shut me. Shut up. Oh, great. Mallory. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Uh, listen, I'm having a bit of a problem at the office. Um, I can do it. Nico can do it. Huh? And uh, what? Well, why would you want me then? Well, screw you then. Great girl. Can you do me a favor? Mallory uh, needs a lift. Uh, can you go pick her up at the Hope Beach subway station? Yeah. Take the cab. She's got a friend with her. Maybe someone you can date. Fuck you. Oh, man, look at this crap. My computer and everything. Get in, ladies. Hey, Nico. Thanks for coming. I should have known Roman would find some excuse not to turn up. This is Michelle. Hi. How are you? I live on Rotterdam Hill up on Mohawk Avenue. You know where that is? Hi. 
How are you finding America, Nico? Not exactly what I expected. Nico, you know what? You need someone to show you a good time. Michelle, how about you? Mallory, stop it! Come on, you guys. You're both single. You're adults. Take a number, Nico. Hey, I'd like to see you again, Nico. You look like that kind of guy I want to get to know. You look like you just jumped off the boat, Nico. Handsome man like you should get some new threats. I think he looks fine the way he is. I don't think he even chains out of those things on the journey. How are you gonna impress a classy girl like Michelle? I'm easily impressed. I know you are, sweetie. <laughs> and I just don't get it. Thanks for the lift, Nico. Yeah, thanks. Give me a call sometime. See you soon, Michelle. Cousin, I dropped the girls off. The friend gave me her number, but I don't think Mallory likes my clothes so much. I know just the place for you. It's on Mohawk in Hall. Go and get something a bit more 21st century. Hey, wanna be my next wife? Nobody talks to me like I need to score now! Hey, Roman, I got some clothes. It looks like they brought the stuff in from the old country, though. We must take what we get. When the big money rolls in, then we will look real classy. Anyway, you have Michelle, a classy girl for your arm. You should definitely keep dating her. Hey, Nico, it's Michelle. We met with Mallory, Roman's girlfriend. I remember. What's up, Michelle? I don't normally do this, but I thought you'd probably be pretty lonely having just moved to Liberty City and all. You do not normally do what? You're not making this easy for me, are you? I'm asking you out on a date. I am sorry. I am still not used to how things work here in America. A date would be good. I am getting sick of hanging out with Roman all the time. Uh, how about I pick you up from your apartment? That sounds good. See you soon. What does he want? Oh, I can think what he could possibly want, or why he'd be pissed off, can you? I... <laughs> Come on, guys, let's be reasonable. is your cousin. I told you to stop. Now it's too late. Cousin. Yeah. Fine. Fucking lawn sharks, man. 
If one more of these gangsters tries to... Speaking of shitheads, here's Darden. Come on, my car is over there. Let's get him. You drive. I don't feel so good. Darden ain't a problem for you no more, cousin. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. These men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian. Bulgarian. He live on the Adriatic. Believed I owed him money when I did not. It made my life impossible. There was no avoiding him. Did you deal with him like you did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. And to see you, cousin, of course. Of course. We will have no more problems from now on, cousin. It is all plain sailing straight to the top for you and me. We will see if things are that simple. Thank you, cousin. I'll see you later. Come on! We must be moving! Try to beat on me! Coming! Who is it? Hey, it's Nico. I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? All your stuff is new. Some even still have tags on. Yeah, well, I like things clean. I can see that. But uh, everything is new. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with cleanliness. Things get on my nerves and I just throw them out. OCD or something? Oh. So, where are you taking me? Uh, you look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh, fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it, um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo <laughs> So, Nico, why couldn't you come on the date earlier? What happened? Roman got himself into some trouble. I had to help him out. Really? 
Does Roman get himself into a lot of trouble? Is he involved in criminal stuff? Roman? Huh. He's made some mistakes. Got involved with people he shouldn't have, but really, he's a legitimate businessman. What about you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. Oh, hey, Nico, the carnival isn't open. I think they're going to turn it into a big Las Venturas-style theme park. There's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk. Why don't we play a few frames? Sure, bowling sounds like fun. Thanks for taking me out. I haven't been on a date for a while. I'm kind of lonely here. I thought you were doing me a favor by going out with me. You're the local. I'm not a local in Liberty City. I came here from somewhere... Where? Oh, uh, the Midwest. <laughs> you probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. Yo, you not gonna get fucked up? Want to be my next one? Ah, I see a bowler before me. Go ahead, choose a lane. I'm not great at life, but I bowl like an angel. You're good, Nico. That was fun. Will you take me back home now? Of course I'll take you home. Let's go. So, you don't know many people here in Liberty City? No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess I'm married to my job. Well, what do you do? What do you do? Come on, I asked first. I work with Mallory. What do you do, exactly? You're a hard girl to talk to, Michelle. I guess you're not used to talking to American women. I guess. So what are you doing here in Liberty City, Nico? What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Roman's bullshit stories, maybe. I just felt like I needed to do stuff. There's nothing else about Liberty City then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. Nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. Come on, Hattie. Forget about the fat sir. Vlad's shots up. But he's a serf, and you're a countess. Uh, talking about serfs. Oh, hey, Nico. Where's Roman? <laughs> Good question. Hey, Yokel, your damn cousin isn't here. Go get me a coffee. What? Get me a fucking coffee! Come on, I'll get you one. What? You keep staring at me. I'll burst one of your eyeballs. Gorgeous, this guy's a fucking creep. Give him a break. He's new in the country. I can see that. Did you walk here from 1985? Yeah. Excellent. Now stop fucking staring at me. I mean, I know I'm good looking and everything, but come on. Uh, hey, Mallory. Hey, man. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> About time. Vlad, Vladdy boy, what's going on? Roman, Roman boy, you tell me what's going on. Nice aftershave, what is that? Sex pest? <laughs> no, it's where is my fucking money? I, I had it, I, I had some of it. Then those Albanians you said you would deal with came and smashed my computer. <laughs> so it's my fault? I, I didn't say that. Good. Anyway, Nico dealt with him. He broke Darden's arm, then beat up a couple more. Then we teach him a real lesson. <laughs> Is that so? I tell you what. While you don't pay, maybe you and Nico can do me few favors. Sure. <laughs> Good. Why not? Late of lad. What? The phone's ringing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I can't do it. My cousin will do it. Yes, he can drive. No, he's not a cop. 
His name is Nico. You'll be right over. Nico. Sorry to ask, cousin. Can you go pick up Jermaine, one of my regulars? He's over on Rotterdam Hill on Mohawk Avenue? Whatever. What was this all about? Nico came in looking for you and Vlad told him to get him a fucking coffee and Nico didn't want to. Coffee? What was he thinking? I know. for coming. Can you take me over to Masterson Street? Masterson Street it is, Jermaine. Get out of the way. Shit, I thought Roman was gonna pick me up. I need someone I can trust for this run. I'm Roman's cousin. Trust him, you can trust me. Ah, uh, he told me about you. You're Nico, right? The hotshot ladies' man cruising around the Mediterranean breaking hearts and making millions? Yeah, I traded in the yacht for this cab. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of bullshit I can imagine Roman making God. You've got to give him credit for his imagination. Yeah, you gotta. I had a feeling you sounded too good to be true. The question is, are you willing to get your hands dirty? My hands haven't been clean for a long time. Being here in Liberty City is just making them dirtier. Okay, okay. I gotta pick up some hot parts for my locker. You down? I ain't got no problem with that. Just don't tell me if you stole this shit from a hospital or a school for sick kids. My conscience is troubled enough already. That door isn't meant to be open. Wait here while I take a look. Cops are on to me! Get us out of here! Lose the cop, man! Lose the fucking cop! Shit! What are you doing? I'm spinning out, man! Get these cops off our tails! to get this car fixed up. Liberty City, Nico. Roman, I guess. And some other things. I'm looking for something. Good luck finding them. How's the hunt been going so far? It is not really started yet. I'm getting settled in, you know. Roman has had some issues with loan sharks that needed to be resolved. There's this asshole called Vlad, who he owes money to as well. Good luck with that. Okay, we're here. Thanks, man. Keep looking after Roman, all right? Roman, I got your friend Jermaine where he wanted to go. Good, Nico. Thanks. I can talk. See you soon. Yoko, fed you, 
Roman's cousin. It's Vlad. Vlad? The uh, name doesn't ring any bells. I'm sorry. You better start remembering important people, you dumb peasant. Your cousin owes me a lot of money. If you don't want to make things real difficult for him, you are going to come to Kamrat Bar in Mohawk. I have a work for you. Headed to town! I don't give a fuck if the bridge is busy! You're a cab driver! Hey! Hello, Roman Bellic Enterprises. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Bellic is stepped away from his office. Can I take a message? Okay, great. No, I'm not gay. Yes, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell him. Car 7, head to South Slopes! Come on, where are you, Mohammed? Hello, Roman Bellic Sop. Shit, fucking battery. This is chaos! Capitalism is a dirty business. Yeah? Like war? Not exactly. No, maybe not. When are you going to tell me properly about what happened? I'm not going to judge you. Uh, when you got time. There, I have time. Another time. Can I help? Okay, yes. Go pick up my friend little Jacob. He's a good man. Likes to smoke a bit. Look after him. He's on Oned Avenue in South Slopes. Nico, man, we should talk sometime. Oh. I'm a good listener. Whatever, man. Mohammed, what the fuck are... Oh, Miss Weinstock. No, no, not you. I, I, what can I do for you today? All right, brother, follow that Dillon Street in Shatla. Yo, Nako, the one man Roman been talking about all this time. Cousin Nako, gonna help Roman take over the world and thing. I guess so. Respect, all right, all right. We're going to this spot where I needed to wait for it. See? I gotta ask you another favor, too. Go for it. Can you take this piece? You hear anything bad going down? You come and help, sight? Are you worried about this? I know how to use a gun if you want me to keep watch on things. Realness, brother. You're my man Roman's cousin. Thanks, respect. This rascal that I rock is with my brethren, real bad man the other day. I want to make peace, but John know what type of shit they might pull off. Spot up there. Watch out for any badness. Sure. What's this? I know there's only gonna be one of you who's coming. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. We have to teach a bad man his lesson and team. Shit, Nico, get this blood down. Creation step on Nico, righteous with that piece. I have had much experience. I think we can do some work together and thing. In the future, you know? I am always looking for work, if it pays. Here's my number, make we link up soon.
Thanks for everything. You can keep the peace. I think you know if you use it better than I do. One love. Shut the fuck up. Hey, we Rasta. I don't need to talk. Make we do it. She not talk. Rom, I took Jacob where he wanted to go. Driving for you ain't as boring as I thought it would be. Jacob is a good man. Watching glue dry with Jacob would not be boring. Thank you, cousin. Yo, Nico. Walk one. All right, you know. Getting by. Yo, we need to help with something, you know? Will you come on my place at Dillon Street? Sure. I was looking to branch out a bit anyway. I'll see you soon. Nico, now that you've settled into life in Liberty City, I was wondering if you could start to help your cousin with the family business. I thought all I'd been doing since I got there was helping you out. You have, you have, but I mean officially. I need more drivers for the cab company. I'll pay you properly. Okay, then. Just call me whenever you want to take a fare. You can do as many as you like, Nico. There are always more customers. Nico. Nico? Yeah, me played hard last night, you know. Me so calm, yo. That's what I... What? Oh, 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 Nico. Hey. You have to see the man, you know. Come to my man, Roman. Roman? Yeah. He's okay. Yeah. He's still waiting for his big break, eh? Big break? Sure. I promise I'll come for to a fool, you know, Nico. A boy for creep before him can walk, you know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go for a little drive. Come. Yo, I have a deal for me, you know. You have to go down to Saratoga Avenue and Willis. You mind taking this wheel? This herb don't do too well for my honor, my eye coordination. Oh, this is my tune. You sure you don't want some? I'm sure. You might not keep the windows closed. Keep the gun in the car. Hot box, see? So what's the deal? I'm buying some color for new sauce, you know? Don't know if it's all this herb, but I need a paradise that don't trust them. Who arranged this deal? Some harbor shot in the crew. Bad man know them a long time, but I think them faced it. And if this goes wrong, you know what kind of shit bad man going to lay up on them do, you know? You think this is a setup? I don't know. I've been smoking hard, you know. It fucks with my brain a little. Make me think all type of shit. I dread you don't trust yourself, can't trust no one else, see? You can't shake no hands when your fist be clinched. You hear me, brother? Sure, I hear you. Go around the back in case one of them try to get jumped and run off with the ganja. Keep hold of this vehicle, we might need to get out of here quick. Sure, they didn't have no stuff in on they tried to take my car in. I still got it though. Finish them if them try to come out the back. I got the front covered. Everything crash bridge in one here. Yo, go on, go on, get down. Come on, I'm gonna beat you up to the murder, yo.
Pablo Envíganos. I got them. You're a real bad man, you know, Nico. Respect. Father Savannah Avenue in the middle of Yeah, man. Lad, one chill and thing. No more bubble and depend us. You're a bad boy, Nico. Don't know what I will be doing without you, you know. But I must say, I got to get the blood class with the tie up. All right. Just while I block up some more, you know, brother. Ross Clay, I think it can call a bad man. Fool, a dead fool. The boy has no match for I and I. There's nothing. Here we be. Are you with me, brother? Yes. I gonna put some road boy in the ground. Come on, brother. Alright, you ready? I'm gonna set this place for fire to blood clad. We can't get the shot by the boy. Check the window. You see him up there? Thank you, my brother. Don't mention, it was a pleasure. I look out for bad man like how you look out for Roman. He's my cousin. Blood be the thickest band there is, you know? Light is not always an easy thing in a style. Bad man tell me, say, yo, Jacob, kill him. Jacob, show that, etc., etc. You ain't always logical, but I and I follow. See? That idea? Of course, stab a man for giving a school face. Orders are sometimes hard. You must be sure you agree before you follow. I have made that mistake myself a long time ago. For real, I know you're right, you know, brother. But Batman is my bro. I follow him wherever. We're there. Thanks for everything. Keep this into something. I say, yo, we appreciate your assistance, see? We we'll talk to you soon. See you later. Fuck you! You're a bunch of pussies and fags! Nice! I'm going back to the meeting! Good! I'm going to be somebody! Yeah, yeah. See you later, man. You always were an asshole, Mickey! Hey, watch where you're going! Hey! Hey! <laughs> I tried to tell you... Fuck to... you! Excuse me. Позвони мне, когда закончишь, хорошо? So, Ivan, I see you later, okay? Yoko, Fetty Roman's cousin! <laughs> What's your name again? Big Mouth Prick. Very catchy. Sit down. Cousin uh, Nico. That's it, Nico. Not Big Mouth Prick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and this one's. I'll let you take the shit out of me. Take the shit? Yes, Mickey about. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me get fucked with. Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months. And I'm not kind of person who is treated this way. Old bastard owns a china shop in the Campton Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bat to teach a lesson. Hey, let me in. You have late protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I'm so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break out here. Vlad should pay me to tell punks like you to go away. He get no money.
Stop it, shit, Bray. I pay up now. I pay up. Shit, here. I thought Vlad and I had understanding. Only thing I understood was you owed him money. Hey, Yokel, you managed to do the job? Get Vlad his money? He paid up. I had to smash the shop up pretty good, but he paid. Don't worry your little peasant head about it. Stupid jerk made a mistake of telling me how much he gets that shit for back east. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar is a crime. Plain and simple. Well, you're joking, right? This is a joke. Yeah, you're playing hey, a joke on me. Mallory, right? tell Fatty his cousin is okay. He just walked in. Great girl. Yeah? Stay away from her. Of course. Now listen. You did good with the business the other day. But now one more peasant is trying to avoid pain. Who? Moskovsky jerk who owns the laundry in the Masterson Street. Thinks in this country business is done differently. Says he will call cops on us. Okay. So? Jerk needs to be taught a lesson. Give him a beating. Let him know might is right. Hey! Stop that smoking back there! Special! Easy, Wait. buddy. <laughs> Did you hear Go on. Do what you gotta do. But remember, you see a cop? You don't know me. I see anyone I don't know you. Ho, ho. <phone rings> Hello. Vlad говорит. Да, да, что ты хочешь? Быстрее, я очень занят. I have a message from Vlad. Shit! Stay away from me! You know, paid Vlad the money you owe him. I'm going to. I've just been having the trouble getting it together. Vlad is impatient man. You will be getting the money to him soon, or your wife shall be using your washing machines to get blood out of your clothes. Do you understand? I do not ask twice for a favor. I understand. I will get it to him. I thought this country was different. Everybody knows what a stupid yo 
Buffalo, you are on your open your mouth. Huh? Get back to the bar. Запомни, если хочешь делать деньги, приходи работать на меня. Йокол, there you are. Okay. Glad. Come on, let's go for a walk, okay? Right. Okay, come on. I don't even like that. That's a good... Where are we going? To my car. Why? Because of your cousin. Owe me a lot of money and until he pays me, you're fresh off the boat. Yeah, your ass is mine. What the fuck you mean, why? Hey, you are a pretty relaxed guy, huh, Vlad? Come on. Bonavins is not a wage mark. Come on, Yoko. What's wrong with you? You gonna jump me? No, I had a late night last night. Spent it with Mikhail. Great. Yeah, wild. Yeah, I guess you're right. So who the hell is Mikhail? Mikhail's a man. Shit. My nose is bleeding. Is my nose bleeding? No, not yet. Fuck this. Come on! Wait! I'm walking Wait. here! Wait the Let's fuck go! Up. Damn city, always trying to run you down, huh? Hey man, get a bomb. Get that job, hey, you deadbeat crackhead! Just a little change, man! Man, hey, where do these people whoa, get up? Like I'm gonna pay for their drug habits! Well, say something! You are so fucking laid back! Moron! Come on! Want some? Good. We walked all the way over here so you could snort coke? No, listen! Ah, that's better. Huh? That's better. Man, Michael gets the good stuff. It's got some laxative in it, though. Gives you a stomach problem. <laughs> nice detail. Yeah, listen, uh, where were we? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, I need you to head up to Dukes and get a car for me. It's a silver blister. And it's packed in the projects by EIC subway station. Okay? Sure. <laughs> you yeah. got keys? Uh, no. Yokel, I need you to take the car. Asshole owes Mikhail some money. Take his car instead, huh? We gonna <laughs> drive over there? What? Are we gonna drive over there? No. You're gonna take the train, buddy. You think I wanna be in the car with the peasant? Come on. I'm gonna go meet somebody. <laughs> Have a little <Okay>. party. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Have fun, dickhead. This car belonged to Vlad. No, it's mine. Who asked you? It belongs to Vlad now. You should pay your debts. You that fat Russians, bitch? Just try and take. Hey, I could fuck this car up worse than a little dirt. Relax, man. 
you should lose your age. There is a car wash over in Saratoga Avenue. Just to take it over there and then to my lockup, just a floor. You take him the car up easy? He was reluctant. He's dead now. Stupid bastard. At least I got my money. I put the car in your lockup. You're not as stupid as you look, Yokel. Come back to see me at the parcel. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Mickey. What do you have? Glass of water. Glass of water. Bang, bang, you are dead. Wake up, you moron. You got me. Come over here. Sit down. You remember Ivan? No. Guy you saw me talking to. This guy. Uh, this guy. Oh, yes. You guys had the little kiss. Very funny. What would you say if I told you he was going to rob your cousin? I'd say... What problem has he got with my cousin? Hold on. Hey! Hey, hey, gorgeous. No, I can't talk right now. What are you wearing? No, I mean underneath it. Great. Listen, I'll call you back, huh? Sorry! Who was that? Never you mind. Was it Ivan? Ooh, that's funny. You know, for a dumb yokel, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for an annoying dick, you're really an annoying dick. Well. It's a real shame, then, that I'm the guy with the powerful friends, and you're the little punk whose only friends is some fat weasel who drives a fucking cab! So, why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Faustin. Offended him. He think he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Then we say it was just a robbery that failed. And what if I say I don't want to be your hitman? <laughs> that Mr. Faustin will be very angry with you and your cousin. Hmm. Okay. I knew we would understand each other once I put it in this simple way. Now, go wait for him by the car depot. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, where were we? Okay, now listen. Let's talk about... These boats keep... All right, Ivan, let's do this.
You trying to rob my cousin? Vlad's a bomb, they set me up! Huh? You're fast one, aren't you? Vlad don't like you no more, man! He's not taking this towel! Don't do this for him! Huh? Vlad's a bomb! Don't kill me for him! You've run out of roof, dickhead. Ah! Please! Vlad told you to kill me, right? I wasn't stealing nothing from your cousin's place! No one's going to know that I'm alive, not even my mother! I'll stay out of Hove Beach. I'll be a ghost. I promise. Please! Vlad told me to go there. Let me go and I'll lay low. Get up. Once you're dead, you can't be all bad. Stay out of Hove Beach. Thank you. You won't regret this, man. I am out of here! Wanted to leave anyway, get away from all these people from back home? Get into the real America. You're never gonna see me around here again. I owe you my life, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. You won't be seeing your boyfriend Ivan no more. Oh, are you going to miss him? No, I'm not. I'm getting enough pussy at the moment. I tell you, it's so much better if women already have a man, because you don't have to deal with all this shit all day. Take Mallory, for example. Fuck you! You say this to my face and I will break you! Hey, what's wrong? Hey, cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh, what about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. Yeah. No. I think she's messing around with Vlad. I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this war dog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nikobelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! All right, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait! Don't do anything stupid! Wait for me! Tell me you're just blowing off some steam. You're going for a little drive. You're going to leave Vlad alone, right? Don't do anything stupid, cousin! Nothing is stupid as letting that fat swine give it to Mallory. Hey, it happens! I, we, we have an open relationship! I do my thing, she does hers! Uh, maybe next time I might watch them at it! Oh, don't watch this fat, hairy, sweaty back going up and down! I can't take it! How could she do this? I knew you cared. I have to do this. Wait, Nico, you have to think this through. Stay out here. Hard. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Give me a drink. Anyway. You got it. Yeah, go ahead. Prekapusto. 
Зачем нужно жрать капусту, если есть картошка? Эй! Картошка! Bloody boy! I'd like a word with you. What are you doing here? Did I summon you? Boy, I told you to stay away from Mallory. Ah, go away! And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. Excuse me. Do you think I give a fuck, peasant? Oh, there he is. Hey, Fatty, I'm so sorry you're so upset. Oh, poor fucking ho. <laughs> hey, Vlad, can't oh, we just talk about this? <laughs> you stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that, boy? Yeah. Now, get them out of come here. On, come on, come on. Get back outside, I'll Roman. break your face. Finish this. Stop! Nico! Shit! You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. Fucking Yokel! You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out! You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha! I'm throwing your life away, prick! We'll do all right! My friends will track you down! You won't last a moment! I'll last longer than you will, shithead! Fuck you! I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off! You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man! Mikhail Fausti thought of me as a brother. He will get revenge! You are nothing in this city. You will be crushed. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man! Half Beach is a small place. My friends will find you. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. Ah, you're a big boy, Vladdy. Hey, come on. Ah. Well, I guess this is over. What have you done? Who does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to be calm, you halted in jail! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. What do you expect? I give him a massage? Shit! 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 When I was in the army, we were going on a mission to ambush a squad who had killed a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies, but we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village, but one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup for money. Twelve people died, three escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. 
Wonderful. You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago, and you don't care whose life you ruin in a way. No. Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. We feel fast and it's going to kill us. Shit. We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. Roman, I'm here. What are you doing? Why do you whisper? I am on Festival Street, near Perestroika. Come, Nico, quick! Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico! <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man! I'm freaking out, man! I'm being followed! I saw them! Don't be ridiculous! You're being paranoid! I'm be... Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, and then you show up, and now we're dead, because Felsten is a psychopath, he's going to kill us, because we killed Vlad, Vlad was his man, that's how it works, you kill their guy, they kill you! Roman, get out of there, man. Listen to me, Vlad was a piece of trash, they don't care about him, all they care about is making money, so we say we work for them. Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. Uh, uh. Uh -oh. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> We had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andrei. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. Your dad likes it up the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? No! I'm tied up in the basement a long way from home, while some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut the fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television! Good Lord, what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, I mean, uh, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house, making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Belli. You think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. Do it! Oh. I agree. No. Asshole, look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Bozo my. Now listen, Nico Bellic. You are very lucky Blood was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some dickheads in my neighborhood. Trying to run a shipment, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you've got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Help! Shut up, Roman. Shut up! Roman, shut up! Shut up, Roman! Shut up! Roman, shut up! Fuck! Mikhail! Shut up! Stop shooting people, you maniac! My wife doesn't like when people shout! Whatever! You better get those screens soon! Or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out! One by one, and watch his guts spill onto the floor! Clean this shit up! 
Listen, we'll take care of your cousin, but you better get a police car. And then you call me. Roman, Roman. Go, go, go. I, I'll take care of him. Fuck! What now? The van is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin, not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TV. Goodbye. Come out real slow, shithead. You're making a mistake. We're paying protection money to Kenny Petrovic. Show me you don't got any flat screens in the back. You're gonna be sorry. I ain't losing this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pull over! I've left the van where you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Nico, hello. Roman, are you all right? I was just shot in the stomach and then stitched up in the doctor's office that was dirtier than the basement we were nearly tortured in. I'm great. You sound calm, actually. That Dimitri guy gave me some painkillers. I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later, Nico. Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Thank you. Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. My judgment. That's a good one. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Calm? Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Barbitude? Always so fucked up on painkillers, you don't give a shit. You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia, or selling hash to tourists in Red Square, or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I am angry. You are calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Blah, blah, too many blah, bodies, blah, too much blah, attention blah, 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 will be blah. dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Mm, not we. Strange. When I give out the money, it's us. When I have to push people, it's me. All alone. 
Don't think I cannot see through you. After all we've done together. You're getting delusional. Look, we have to go. I fucking love you. Yes, yes. I fucking love you. I know. Yes. Yeah. But you treat me like a child. I run things my way. Dimitri Raskolov. My fucking way! Get out of my sight! Or I fucking kill you! I'm not saying don't run things your way. I'm saying be calm. Here. Take a couple of these. What are you still doing here? I said get out of my sight! We're going to that sex shop on Hof Beach. This guy been making porno in his basement, and he didn't cut Mikhail in. At least he could have done is sent over some tapes. You know how much money there is in selling this stuff online? A whole fucking heap. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. No, it's Mikhail that has that issue. Can't keep his finger off of the triggers. Wasn't always like this, though. Things got to him. I hope it don't get to me. Filming. Uh, no, they're just having a meeting, I swear. Get out of the way! <clears throat> Fuck. You see? They don't make them like that no more. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos and sell them, whoa, and whoa, we won't whoa. know about it, we huh? We just wait until the uh, books were closed at the end uh, of the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you Your in. books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. We ain't making that much cash. Is that a fact? Maybe we can't pop you, Joseph, but we can fuck up one of your boys. Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push in one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the leg. Hey, man, please, go easy on me. Come on, big guy. Shoot him in the fucking leg, Nico. Already. Brett was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have the re- You should have thought of that earlier. I can't die today! I'm special! I'm really special! I can show you! Joseph, I thought you were a better businessman than this. We go, Nico. And we're going to an alleyway off of Dillon Street in Shotgun. I want to buy you a present. Will you wrap it up and put a pretty bow on it? Screw you. We're seeing a friend of mine who's got a good line of weapons. It's on the ground. A back room place. There are a few around the city. The mayor has a real hard on for gun control. Guns don't seem that controlled. I've seen plenty and I just got here. And now you'll know where to get them for yourself. What's the problem? Mikhail, I know that you don't have to do this. Everything is I didn't kill Joseph. We will make more money with him alive. Sure, Mikhail! Mikhail! Fuck! You're lucky. Ramadan tried to make you kill someone every two seconds. The shop is just down that alleyway. Pick out what you like! Tell them to put it on Mr. Faustin's account. All right, 
You don't look like a cop. Buy what you want. I'll take this one. Charge Mr. Faustin. You fucking Ruskies are milking me dry. I ain't a cow. I ain't Russian. Drive us to Mr. Faustin's. So, you and Mr. Faustin. Have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need your help. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. Thank you for your help, Nico. Come to see us at the club soon. Mikhail will be cool by then. Hey! Hey, boy, don't ah, move, don't move. The fuck don't are you move, boy. Me? How are you? Eh? Oh, where you come from? How are you? Hey, man, I'm here to see Jacob. It's Nico. Nico? Batman, what's going on, sir? Some boy don't say beat off the door. Some boy don't say call himself Nico, say, want well, to see a road boy. Nico? I'm a boy that bad mama. Yo, free up the boy, man, yo. Are you a boy that? Yeah. Sure. Boy that, come yo. on, you. Come 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 you have people to knock on people door and thing, you have to be careful and thing. No, oh, it's okay. Yeah, man, see, you tell Hey, don't you worry about watch it. watch what you're doing, you know. See how your boy over there, son, Nico. Go deal with him, see him there. Oh, I'm Nico. You all right? Hey, no problem. It's good an introduction as any other. Yeah, me hear that, you know? <laughs> anyway, some boy I ramp with bad man, you know? I want to ask you a favor. Go on, now. Hey, my youth. Some boy of them dip on the corner and thing, and the boy of them sell some things and thing, and I go on and I say, oh, them don't want to give me my money and thing, and every corner of my corner, and I want my money and thing, you know. I'm not sweat I go go, you know, I want to deal with the case proper, you know, see it. All right, let me explain. It's a business thing I go on down there. Right. They are selling weed, but they're not supposed to sell weed, and they're not cutting them in. Okay. So when you go down there and deal with them, see it? Right, it's not going to be cheap. Where do I find them? Cheap? Cheap, my youth. You worry about cheap? We're not worried about cheap, you know. The boy of them dip on the corner, I say the boy of them other things and uh, on my corner that and thing and I say every corner on my corner and thing I'm gonna write that to the boy of them I go on and say oh they wanna give me my money. Oh something for go on with that. Alright, hear me now. What bad man is saying is the boy of them are some novice, see? You go find him when you go up on the corner of Alpha and Salt Boat and see? When you go down and say you go see and, and just deal with them, see? And you'll find out how them work, alright? Alright. All right. Yeah, you want someone to split for you? No, Not thanks. You sure? I'm sure. All right. Respect. Mario, pass me some of that thing we have over there, sir. All right. Yeah. All that, King. This isn't a good time, Roman. I got another type of shooting on my mind.
Tell Badman that I got rid of the competition. Righteous. The corner belongs to I again. And nobody gonna fuck with I's corner no more, no things. One love, Nico. Okay, name a problema. Hi, Dimitri. Hey, Dimitri, I took care of that thing for you. Very good. I'm proud of you. Good. Dimitri, thank you for taking care of that thing for me. No problem. <laughs> Dimitri, Dimitri, hey, <laughs> hey, uh, meet my girl oh. Natasha. Oh, so my nice pleasure. to meet you. <laughs> Little delicious. Oh. Little correction. Mikhail! <laughs> hey! My brother and Nico! Good! Sit down! Oh, Have a drink! Baby. Move up, ladies! Move up! Uh, Mikhail, we have something we need to talk about. Okay, yeah. you can have your alte Katrina. Come on! Not no that. big deal! Private! <laughs> Girls, can you give us a minute, huh? Please! Okay. Oh, Get out of here! I see. Keep it warm! I won't be too long! So, what is it? We've got police trouble. The feds or someone are all over us. Sergei told me that a friend of his in the courts told him they've been authorized to tap our phones and they know about the pot we stole. Shit. Who is the rat? It's no one. It's just the way we've been behaving. Making too much noise. This was inevitable. We're going to have to calm things right down for a while. It's that fucking guy, yeah. I know it is. I saw it in his eyes, you know? That guy. That guy who bought the coke. But he didn't buy the That's pot. That's Lenny. He's my cousin's boyfriend. It's not him. Yes, he's a moron. Yes, but he's okay. I don't trust him. What? I just told you. He knows too much. Oh. You, get him. Are you sure? Sure? No, I am not. Right now I'm wondering if it's him or you. It could be you. Think for a second. This has been going on for months. Think. Look where your thinking has got us. You were in charge of security. Good job. Well done, Dimitri. You pathetic idiot. You. Prove you're loyal. Go and kill the guy. Don't question my loyalty. Then don't question my orders. He lives on Guantanamo Avenue in Bohan. Head up there and call me. Me personally, when you get there. Mikhail, please, don't do this. Shut up. I, shut the fuck up. I'm begging I you. Said, shut the fuck please up. Please, don't Go. do this. Why don't you You listen? want to play games? This hey, is not break. a game. You stop. have to play I by the stop. rules. Hey, Lenny. Mikhail Faustin don't like you no more. It's nothing personal. Faustin ain't nobody. Fuck off! It's enough of a somebody to get you killed. Do what my do I have followed Mr. Faustin's orders. Not much more. The boy you killed was the 
son of Kenny Petrovich. This is a very dangerous man. You will not take kindly to this. How was I to know? You weren't. This is Mikhail's craziness. I will speak to people and see what I can do. understand what probation means uh yes sir it means that if you continue down that same path you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month yes sir if i had it my way we wouldn't waste our time you'd be inside already mr gray has made great progress his share on willfulness was one of the most powerful things i've ever heard i, I believe in this man Let's hope you don't live to regret that faith. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in this case, it seems God is downright perverse. But I'll leave the salvation to you gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad, I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. Yo. Here you go. It's about time. Home sweet home. <laughs> Okay, whether it's a train gang
drinks in the showers or grown men crying and hugging at rehab, there's definitely an undeniable twinge of homosexuality in this fine country's correctional system. No wonder you keep getting caught there, Billy. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let me clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay, I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. Welcome back, man. It is good to be back, my brother. Come on, give me that gun. Let him up, my brother. Yes, sir. Johnny, what's going on? Not much, Bill. The usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So, aching for a fucking drink here. Amiguito. Come on, just pour a Willie wet back. Boys. Salute, Wet you pussy motherfuckers. And Salute! <laughs> okay, oh, another oh, round for you. Everyone. Goddamn <laughs> right. <sighs> mm. Yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. Are you fucking deaf? No! Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. I can only imagine, though. Shut up, Brian. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15 year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you you should have gotten the bike. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, and we needed the money. You needed some balls. Ugh. Some fucking heart. Something. Can't believe I'm hearing this shit. Yeah. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you, paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, Paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart? You be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny. Let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. I'm a little pin up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating. Fucked up shit. Craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off, and I've been a bit of a prick lately. But come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's got to stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm gonna go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's go! Want something done right, you do it yourself. Brothers aren't meant to be this close, Johnny, but we're gonna have to be until I get my bike back. That guy with the full yard might know where the bike is. He's over on Guantanamo. Look at me. Managed to avoid prison and I'm still half the cock with a dude. Yeah, well, I ain't too happy about it neither, man. You wanna turn around and go back to the clubhouse? I'm happy about it, all right, John Boy. Fuck, after that terrible shit, the drink in the road's all that I need. Good to know. You've been missing me all that time I spent sharing and caring and rehab? Let's get your bike and save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You can do some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> can you do that? You boys be too drunk to catch VD. 
could the fucking be here? What's your problem? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny. And you're just another brother. Can you handle it? As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did. Same as I'm doing now. Really? Feels kind of different. Before, all we cared about was having fun. Brothers, getting shit-faced. Screw you, you get in our way, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. Thank you for Jerry. And now what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. Maybe if we stop doing it for a minute, we'd look around and realize that the fun ended a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the law for the good times only, fair weather weekends and the caraways, then you ain't in the law. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, slow down, that's still an option on the table. Pretty boy. Hey, where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Parts been changed up. Hard to say if that chopper's even around anymore. Sorry, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey! Good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa! Hold on! No. Wait! Please! Please! No! 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 no. Where is my ah, bike? Ah, Speak, no, you mind. ugly ah, fuck! Ah, okay, listen. Ah, the Angels of Death took it to that place in Northwood. What the fuck? The Angels of Death! Me. Thank you! Yes. Thank you! Okay, now all we gotta do is pick up the bike. Let's raise some hell. You didn't have to do that. He told you who had the bike. You really gone south, haven't you, Johnny? You know? You could do with a stretch in the joint. Might hard you up. Whatever. What about an eye for an eye and all that shit? You should have been the one making that guy pay for holding out. Enough with that shit. We got more things to worry about than respect and stupid kid stuff. We gotta keep business afloat or we're fucked. You just don't get it, do you? This is what it's about. This. Not that money shit. We're in it to stick it to all those yuppies and hippies and motherfucking dead people. Give me a stiff drink, some larger up, the road, my chopper, that's all I need. Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that now, would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brothers, without you. If you don't get that, then you don't get nothing, John Boy. Is that state of affairs? Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them.
Take what you gotta take, drink what you gotta drink, fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill, but get it out of your system. Hmm. And when you do, give me a call and we'll get back to business. You're not my P.O., brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me, you still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up and that I would really like some, I mean, we, meaning all of us, would love some whole. Hey, Jim, what's up? Same old bullshit, Johnny. Can you come and meet me on Aspidin over an actor? All right, brother. I'll be there. Little dorky gas station attendant boy goes, Hey, man, are you all right? And I go, Yeah, dude, how's my bike? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, Johnny K. Hey, Johnny. How you doing, baby? Ooh, stop domestic violence. Oh. Hey, having fun over there? <laughs> Absolutely. And if I get tested, I have a bag of 12 year olds piss right here. I am clean. <laughs> Real nice. Oh, fuck you, Johnny. You oh. don't judge me. Whoa, calm down, man. Have another drink or something, but calm the fuck down. Oh, hey, watch fuck your you mouth. Faggot. Tell yeah. him. Really? Whoa, 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 guys, guys, Billy, Johnny. We got a couple of fucking deadbeats outside. Fucking what fucking deadbeats? What the, fuck, deadbeat the, hell they doing what the fuck, fuck do they want? I'm out of rehab three minutes, and they think they can crash yeah, my party? Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Gentlemen, gentlemen! Why the long faces? Might I tempt you in a swift libation, my most trusted and honored guest? I thought we had a truce going on. Did you? Funny thing, I wasn't aware. But let me tell you, it's a strange kind of truce that makes you think that it's okay to gate crash my party? Deadbeat, motherfucker. I'm sorry. Huh. You enjoy your little party. I take it the good times are over. No problem, old man.
Ain't we a little too old for stealing bikes and clubhouse flags and crap like that? It don't help nothing. Yeah, I hear you, man, but these bikes are the real deal. Now I got a guy who pays me for them, and then he ships them over to Japan. Apparently they're gonna go crazy for these bikes in particular. Now business is business. And the angels, they're the angels. So do it for the memories. Okay, it's been a little while since you and me have been on a prank like this together, hasn't it? <laughs> too right, brother, too right. Who knows? Might be fun. <laughs> I'm point on this run. Let's go. It would take a real dumb civilian to screw with our bikes on club turf. These bikes are over by the deadbeat hangout in Tudor. Are you fucking doing it open there? Where's my fucking baseball bat? Where'd you get the van, Jim? You ain't turned into some kind of trailer queen, have you? Very funny, asshole. This shit belongs to my contact. If I wanted to take a bike of mine somewhere, I'd drive it myself. Yeah? Having an old lady and kid hasn't made you scared of getting dirty. I was riding bikes before your mama rode your daddy, Jonathan. Jackie and the baby, yeah, it's nice and all. And shit, I mean, I love them and stuff, but I'm still a brother. Lost MC, man. Forever. So, if Billy asked you to do something that meant you wouldn't be able to look after them sometime, or, or maybe not ever. Yeah, Johnny, I take your point. I'd have to think long and hard on it, okay? I think long and hard about what I'm gonna order at Burger Shot as well. I guess I'm the thinking type of maniac. It's time to stick it to him, Johnny. Let's do this. Get the bikes, Johnny. I'll scan the horizon. Deadbeats. Get the brothers on the wire, Johnny. We need us some help. We're gonna get home.
back to your contact. Yes, bro. Might have something to do with those cops that pulled one over on us. I figured. The way I see it, we got two choices. Either we buy a big tub of grease and prepare to take it from these fat pigs the rest of our lives. Or... Or we head over to the clubhouse. Close to where I happen to know they got themselves set up, and we show them that we're not quite the bitches that they think we are. Well, well, tempted as I am by your first option, I'm gonna have to go with the second. I figured you'd say that. Lead on, James. I like the feel of a fully automatic pistol in your hand, you son of a bitch. How about we race over to those fucking dirty cops, old man? Think you can handle it? Later on, brother. retiring with moves like that. Wait here a minute. Hey, officers, how you doing? Hey, McCornish, this fat purpose brought us a present. <laughs> you know, I forgot how stupid looking this guy was, Matthews. Do you think he's smart enough to realize that we got expensive tastes? What do you uh, got for us, Mo? Oh, exactly what you asked for. Well, all right. Oh. Oh. Hey! Ah. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh. 